Hi, I'm Sabrina Gayor and I'm here in my gorgeous sunny kitchen in Yorkshire. I'm excited about all that Christmas has to offer in a year that just needs that kind of warming indulgent hug that Christmas gives. But perhaps Christmas is going to be a little bit smaller for a lot of us this year. So a lot of the ingredients I'm going to get probably going to be eaten over one or two sessions, which is why this parsnip recipe is the ideal side dish for any roast, really. It's an absolutely fantastic dish, even as a main. If you're a vegetarian, it's the dream dish. It's got so much flavor. And if you'd like the recipe to my spice roasted parsnips with honey, orange, and feta, you can just find the link below. So first things first, I'm going to peel these parsnips. Don't worry if you've got a bit of skin on there. And as you can see, I'm a thoroughly messy, oop, I'm a thoroughly messy peeler. Trim the ends off. Try not to waste too much. I'm mad about parsnips, essentially. Traditional Christmases would see probably about half the tin consumed in secret in the kitchen. Chef's perks, right? So just going to show you how to roughly get them the same sort of size that it's not a bad way to put it onto paper and then if it's the bigger bit just cut that in half it doesn't really matter you just want to roughly get them the same size so that they cook and brown at the same rate but don't stress yourself out too much this is home cooking not michelin star chefing it's really funny because I have a lot of friends that think veg are boring. And I say to you, if you think veg is boring, you're definitely cooking your veg wrong. And things like what we're doing today are really going to lift the veg to like next level. So, got this ingredient. Now, this is the oil I'm going to use. You don't have to use garlic oil, but it's such a clever way to infuse just a little bit of extra flavor into the dishes that you're going to roast. About three tablespoons enough to coat it that's my rule of thumb then i've got cumin seeds here and then coriander seeds a lot of people say you've got to toast your spices first but actually we're kind of doing that in one pan and that is my kind of cooking easy simple full flavored next ingredient my trusty salt and pepper now the messy bit quite therapeutic really if you've got kids this is the job to do delegate what you want to do is make sure there's enough oil on everyone okay the oil will prevent them from going dry and actually enable the edges to cook properly that's it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them into an oven that I've preheated to 200 degrees fan and I'm going to cook them for about 30 minutes until they're lovely and burnished on the edges and then I'm going to transform them with this lovely sticky glaze that's going to take them to the next level. So whilst the parsnips are roasting in the oven, I'm going to turn my attention to making a quick sticky glaze for them. First things first, got some clear honey here, three tablespoons or thereabout. And listen, if you wanted to make this vegan, you can totally go with agave syrup or maple syrup. In fact, maple syrup gives it a lovely flavor too. Orange. Citrus is the perfect pairing with sweet things like honey or even maple syrup. I want the zest and the juice, because why not? So, orange, zest in. May have to salvage some off the surface, obviously. <laughs> this year, Christmas is going to look really mega in my house. I'm not gonna lie, I had my decorations up earlier than normal this year. It's the only chance really to spoil myself rotten and the loved ones that I'm allowed to see and feed them senseless. Next, I'm gonna go in with the juice. One last ingredient, got me some pool bebe. Essentially, it's just a really lovely chili flake, milder than the normal chili flakes than we're used to. It's from the south of Turkey. It's got slightly lemony, bitter taste. It's delicious. If you're a little bit spice shy, you can just go with one teaspoon, but I'm going in with two. It can handle it because all the gorgeous, sweet, natural flavor of the parsnips, plus the honey in the sticky glaze, works so incredibly well with the heat of chili. And then that hit of acid from the orange just rounds it off beautifully. <sighs> the smell of the parsnips are driving me crazy. Right, so here we have the parsnips and they're looking absolutely perfect. Nice and golden brown around the edges, lovely and burnished. That's what's gonna make for a really chewy, delicious parsnip. 
Now back to that lovely mixture. Got a little spoon here that I'm also gonna use to glaze it. The reason I'm not just pouring it cat candidly over it is because I kind of want it to coat everything. And you can essentially see it's this gorgeous orangey, quite sunny glaze really, especially with the light here in Yorkshire. And that is going to caramelize and it's going to reduce and it's gonna give it the loveliest, stickiest glaze. So I'm gonna pop that back in the oven for 10 minutes and then it's gonna be delicious. What I love about roasting parsnips and indeed any root vegetables is it encourages their natural sweetness in a wonderful way that makes them the perfect candidates to stand up to store carbon ingredients like spices and seasonings and so much more. That's when you've got a truly simple key ingredient that's quite humble in sense, but you can pack so much more flavor to it and give it loads of dimension and make it far more satisfying. Okay, so parsnips are out the oven. As you can see, the glaze has got kind of, kind of jammy actually and sticky. Shuffle them off and that kind of pushes them through any remaining sauce and glaze. Then I've got three ingredients that are gonna finish this beautifully. First things first, I've got some flat leaf parsley. Now I've also got half a block of feta, that's about 100 grams, and I've also got barberries. Barberries, nothing more Persian on this table, apart from me, than barberries. They are these beautiful gem-like berries. Have a look at that, Paul. Absolutely gorgeous. They're tiny little sour berries, and they are nothing more than a gorgeous burst of citrus that's gonna complement all the sweetness that we've got in this dish. And also that really sort of festive, cheery, bright red bite at the end of it. They also match my dress. And here you have it. My spice roasted parsnips with honey, orange, pulbebe, glaze and feta.